Welcome to the DNA Automation and Assurance Stage 1 training. My name is Jason Grant, and I'm part of the Global EN Access Sales Team. This is the Story, Strategy, and Vision module. Customers are moving from traditional networking to intent-based networking, and they're on a journey. And Cisco, we're on a journey as well. After over 30 years of device-by-device -device manual configuration and operations, the network is undergoing an evolution. In this module, we'll cover why this evolution is taking place, what impact and pressure going digital has on the network, and how Cisco continues to evolve to meet the demands of current and future technology landscapes. The world is under constant change, and nowhere is that more evident than in the realm of IT. There are multiple pressures on the network today. New paradigms are born and others go away. New advances in machine learning, AI systems, virtualization, cloud and computing services, IoT, and the desirable benefits of automation. All of these exert pressures in planning, adoption, and deployment and operations. Some changes are meant to address faster innovation or the ability to adopt useful technologies in a simplified way requiring the need for more intelligence and leveraging data from our connected environments in new, more powerful ways than in the past. Other advances address the need to reduce cost and complexity. Automation and the ability to create and maintain policy across the network are seen as key attributes needed to achieve these goals. Well, how do we accomplish all these changes in a way that doesn't increase cost and complexity or increase risk? Well, we lower risk through greater control, added visibility, and increased understanding of applications, users, and things to ensure compliance with internal and external mandates are important platform considerations and top of mind. Where yesterday the primary goal was getting connected, today the connectivity issue has largely been addressed because businesses run on their applications. IT must provide an agile platform for innovation and agility that supports and enhances security. Now, we're no longer dealing with a human scale. We now have to consider IoT scale, which means considering people, devices, and things such as wearable technology. Customers are looking for ways to go beyond virtualization of network appliances. The new network has to virtualize functions. Automation, orchestration, zero-touch provisioning, and DevOps are now a necessity to deliver fast IT. A significant portion of the applications, once housed internally, are moving to private and public clouds. Customers are taking advantage of hybrid models to reduce cost and complexity, focusing their time and efforts on faster innovation. Now, these priorities communicated by Cisco's executive leadership team clearly highlight the need to provide our customers with a secure and intelligent platform. We're leading our customers through the digital journey and are highly focused on developing hardware and software for the digital network. Let's quickly revisit these priorities. Reinventing the network, enabling a multi-cloud world, unlocking the power of data, and enriching employee and customer experiences. Now with these priorities in mind, the question is how do customers get from where they are today to a place where it's possible to take advantage of this digital network? And most important of all is to focus on deploying security everywhere. We can assist our customers with evaluating their plans for digital readiness according to a five-phased framework. Internally, Cisco is also evaluating ourselves against these same five phases. Now, Cisco and our customers are really on that journey together. Customers are interested in moving from best effort to automated networks and are focused on the most common attributes, including automation, security, service assurance, and analytics. Today, customers are somewhere between manual and semi-automated. These automations are coming from Cisco are focused on closing the gap between semi-automated and self-driving capabilities, accelerating development and automated capabilities to address fully dynamic service alignment, end-to-end cross-domain automation, and fully integrated IT and business analytics. Now we're excited about the future. 
and as Cisco executes on its digital network architecture framework, the expectation is to deliver a self-driving, capable network within the next three to five years. To get faster, customers need to simplify operations and all of the manual configuration that's traditionally been part of networking. Software-defined networking, or SDN, and controller capabilities have become key technologies of interest as it promises to evolve to a point where it can address the requirements of fast IT. Think of the network like you would a car and look through history. Now, in the past, putting together all of the pieces required human intervention. Now, in networking, we expected customers to buy a bunch of routers and switches and other infrastructure components like line cards and build their own infrastructure using manual methods with dozens or hundreds of configuration differences. As we look at where we are and what the future holds and what customers expect and what they need, there are solutions that simply they can get in and drive. They need solutions that let them go wherever they want to go and address their needs right away. Traditional network paradigms are unable to sufficiently address the dynamic management and policy changes needed in today's network. Our early attempts to focus on automation were day zero and day one automation using per device technologies like CLI scripting. We discovered, however, that automation done this way would never be able to address high volume changes in real time. Intent-based networking has emerged to address the requirement of needing to support dynamic policy changes and allows the network to be managed as systematically. From automation through insights, the network becomes a closed-loop system with the ability to interact with the external world through APIs. This abstracted intent-based model allows customers to reduce OpEx while unlocking agility and empowers IT to be faster and more nimble. There are hundreds of books, guides, CVDs, classes, and white papers published on how to configure the network correctly. Even when followed to the letter, problems crop up. Where we see one of the biggest challenges is the manual nature of building networks. Our first baby steps into automation using scripts and simple automation tools like scripting languages still rely heavily on command line interfaces and they're highly localized. Manual reconfiguration and changes to the network still account for 95% of our operational experiences. The chance of error or misconfiguration is very high. The result? 70% of policy violations such as unintended access, misconfiguration, denied services, well they're directly attributable to the manual nature of operations. Any system of the future must stat challenge the status quo, addressing the existing manual operation paradigm. Now, why do we need the network of the future to address this? Well, 75% of our operational experiences and expenses are directly related to monitoring and troubleshooting traditional networks. To reduce OPEX and shift attention on helping the business to innovate faster, we cannot afford to look at the things on a device-by-device -device basis or troubleshooting things in a siloed management offering that result in inadvertently injecting errors and problems. Now at Cisco, we believe that making investments in a solution that offers reduced liability rather than tools to manage liability is the way forward. It's the only way to effectively function as a digital organization. Please continue your learning journey with the next Stage 1 Automation and Assurance module, Trends, Challenges, Benefits, and Capabilities. Thank you for watching.